Hey, thank you for coming back. And today I'd like to talk to you about another USB microphone. And it's actually this one right here. This is the Mayano DM20 USB gaming microphone. Um, this is the box it comes in. You get a little bit of information about the company on there. It also comes in three colors. I got the black, obviously. Gives you a little bit more information right there as well. Now, I'd like to give Mayano a lot of credit because they put it in some really nice packaging. This is the packaging it comes in, and it's uh, the nice foam stuff, so it's not like this some cheap plastic pre-molded thing. It's actually some nice cushioning, a nice foam. And it pretty much all comes together and when you open the box, there's another piece of foam that covers this, but this is how it looks, okay? So I'd like, you know, I thought I'd just mention how nice the packaging is. Now, you do get a pop filter that's already installed on the microphone. You get a micro, the microphone itself, it actually has a shock mount, and it comes pre-installed on the stand. And on the bottom, this is just foam. It's not like rubber. So it will slip a little bit on your desk. It's not like a silicone or anything. It's just some kind of foam. And that's the only cheap, real kind of cheap thing to do. The microphone stand is plastic. And inside the accessory box, you do get a nice cable. It's USB-C on one end. And on this end, you can already see it's USB type A, but you see this little loop? You can pull it off and it's USB C. So this little piece here is an adapter. So if you have a, if you don't have a USB type C port on your laptop or computer, you can use USB type A. Now you also get this little thing right here. This is a hinge mount, and this is good for boom arms, or if you wanted a different microphone stand in this, you can actually attach it to a different microphone stand. You also get a nice little instruction manual, which is easy to read and understand. Now, it is a cardioid patterned microphone meaning you're gonna be talking into this way, not on the top or the sides or the back, right here, right into the pop filter. That's where you're going to be talking from because it's not gonna pick up all around. It's just strictly on the front of the microphone. You actually do have RGB lighting or red, green, and blue lighting LEDs in the microphone too, and I will be showing you that. Of course, you got. I already told you that it comes with a shock mount. It does come with a pop filter on it. On the top of the microphone, right here, it's a touch, these buttons here are touch sensitive. This controls the RGB lighting. Right here is either the mute button and or the ENC, electronic noise canceling on it. Yes, it has noise canceling. On the bottom here is your gain control. And right in there is for the headphone jack, a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. And that jack actually has real time monitoring. Okay. Uh, no lag, no latency. It's real time. Um, the bit depth and sample rate is 24 bit at 48 kilohertz. The frequency response of this microphone is 80 hertz to 10 kilohertz. Uh, that's pretty much it about all of the specs of the microphone. And if you can tell, this video is sounding a little different because right now I am just using the built-in microphones to my iPad. And yes, you can use it with an iOS device or laptop or computer. But if you do use it like what I'm doing right now with my iPad, you have to make sure you have power coming to the iPad for this to work. So you're gonna need one of these. This is a USB, a lightning dongle for the Apple. The microphone will come in here. I got two SD card slots, you know, micro SD and a full size SD card slot. And right up here in this corner is 
power cable, which I'm going to have connected to it. Then you plug this into the iPad, once of course you obviously have the microphone turned in here. And yes, you're going to be able to use the microphone. Now, the reason why I don't have any external microphones hooked up right now is I got the air unit on, I got a, the TV in the back that shows all of our videos continuously for background noise, because I want to see and let you see or hear how good the ENC really is on this microphone. Give me a second, let me plug all this in and we'll start the test. Okay, so right now you are actually hearing audio coming from the Meano DM20 USB microphone that's pl currently plugged into my uh, ninth generation iPad. And right there, if you've seen that little green light, that's telling you that the microphone is active and audio is coming through it. Um, so right now it does not have any noise canceling function turned on because I want you to hear what the microphone sounds like without any of the electronic noise cancellation turned on. Now, to turn it on right here on this button, you simply press and hold for about two seconds. And now, that LED light turned blue. Um, with the light turned blue, that actually means electronic noise canceling is on. So I'm gonna stay quiet for a second or two here so you can see how well or how bad it gets rid of all that background noise. Okay, now let me turn the ENC back off, and you simply press and hold that button again. Now the ENC is turned off, so you should be able to hear a lot more of the background noise. Once again, let me stay quiet for a few good seconds here, okay? Alrighty, now that's it with the ENC turned off. Uh, I'm going to tap the button really quick just to turn on the mute button or the mute function, and I'm just going to ramble on and. That the LED light turns from green or blue to red to let you know that the mute function is turned on. So now I'm just going to stay quiet. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to let you hear all the background noise and I'm going to hit the tap button again. Okay, now let me turn the ENC back on. Okay, the ENC is turned back on. And once again, I'm going to hit the mute button. I'm going to stay quiet. So you can see if there's any noise comes through when you activate the mute function. Okay, the mute function is now turned off. Now, let me show you the uh, lighting function. You just simply turn it on. I like green, so I automatically had it set to green. But you just keep tapping it, and it just changes colors. And we're back to green. And that's pretty much it. There's no breathing effects or flashing or slowly turning into another color. They're all static type uh, colors, meaning they don't change. Yes, I still have the ENC turned on at the moment. Uh, let me turn it back off. Okay, the ENC is turned off. So you should be able to hear either a lot more of the background noise or all of it. And I'm about a good 12 inches away from the microphone. I did have to tilt it, which you loosen this knob up right here to tilt it up and down. Uh, so you can hear me a little bit better because, you know, you should, your mouth should be pointed directly at the microphone itself in order for this to work. Of course, I can have it farther away from me. Right now, this, uh, I got the volume turned up about halfway. And it's about 
three feet away from me or hands arm's length away now this when you turn the knob all the way to the right yes it will stop which is a nice thing now the microphone gain is turned up all of the way and that's what this microphone will sound like so now what I'm going to do is keep talking and I'm turning the knob to the left which means the volume is decreasing and it's at the same length away and now the volume is turned down all of the way all right uh, I believe this is about 75 percent 50 to 75 percent somewhere around there or halfway up and it's pretty much like I said arm's length away from me uh, let me get it in shot there you go now you know I'm probably about a good three feet away from the microphone and it's approximately any let's just say 50 to 60 percent turned up all you know volume on it and this is what the microphone's going to sound like okay so the last thing I forgot to show you is where you plug the cable in as you can tell there's a nice little hole here in the back of the arm and the USB cable just plugs right there into the back of the microphone and that's it I'm gonna turn the ENC on again okay like I said the blue light means that the ENC is turned on so what do I think of the Mayano gaming or DM20 gaming USB mic well they may call it something else I like it um even though the frequency bah, frequency response is only 80 hertz to 10 kilohertz it still has a really good sound profile it actually sounds natural what do i mean by that um like if you're talking to somebody in person it sounds natural it's not really deep and warm and rich like you would get out of a podcasting microphone or even out of the Mayano microphone that i normally use for uh, recording these videos here this is let me show you again this is the one I normally use when I make all my other videos and I didn't use it today on purpose just because I wanted to focus on this microphone it does have a natural tone or tonality to it a sound profile whatever you may want to call it and I get I really do like it it does improve the audio dramatically over the built-in microphones of the iPad even uh, like my laptop like if I was gonna film it on my laptop those microphones and laptops are kind of bad <laughs> so this one works fantastically I do highly recommend you get this Mayano DM20 USB gaming microphone forgot what they call it there's a nickname for it and I kind of forgot what it was called should have wrote it down shut my up but it's a really good microphone now I got it off Amazon I'll leave that link down below. I'll leave uh, a link to the Miano website and where you can get this on the Miano website too. I'll leave a link for that as well. But yeah, it's nice and small. I like how it comes with the pop shield and the shock mount. Um, I'm tapping on it now. Now you might hear definitely a little bit of thumps coming from it. But it's not really designed to take all that away it might be like for me like right now how i'm moving it slightly out of focus or out of shot and i'm bringing it back in those type of small little shocks it's going to be great again but like if i actually hit it like this well you might hear that as a matter of fact with the enc still on let me turn the enc off and shake it again see the green light right up here okay let me turn the E and C back on okay so yeah I, I definitely think this microphone is worth every penny especially if you make um, YouTube videos or any videos of, for that matter if you do a lot of teleconferencing if you're gaming especially and you're doing some live streams things of that nature i think it's definitely going to improve your audio without breaking the bank and you got to remember the price of this microphone so 
it's not going to be like the $80 to $300 microphones that you see, especially a lot of these YouTube content creators use and say, hey, you definitely need this. Technically, no, you really don't. It depends upon, one, your budget, or mainly your budget, and two, what type of videos you are making. You don't need a very expensive microphone to do videos like, um, like you're watching right now. I mean, this is definitely more than adequate to do the job. So don't be fooled by these people telling you you need to waste all, you know, spend all this money to get, the, you know, certain types of microphones. Nah, you really don't. Start off with this and then maybe gradually build up to the better equipment if you so well want to. But that's it. Get this Mayano DM20 USB gaming microphone. It's definitely worth the money. And until the next video, oh, wait a minute. I forgot the whole spiel, didn't I? If you happen to like this video, please give it that thumbs up. And don't forget about that notification bell. Definitely subscribe to my channel so you can get great videos like this again. And it would really help me out a lot if you were to share this video, maybe a few more of my others, on all of your social media. And until the next video, you, your friends, your family, and yes, even all of your pets, you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.